Hi guys, another chapter 3 video here. 3.2 is our section. Um, if you can't tell in the background, I got a pair of crutches. I recently broke my foot, so I'm stuck on the couch. So I decided let's make a lot of math videos. So um, here's our essential question today. How can I add and subtract expressions? Um, this is a follow-up video. Hopefully you watched the prior video to this and kind of have been introduced to how to do this. So we're going to try some more problems today. Um, our example for this note is going to be parentheses 3y minus 7 take away parentheses 8 plus y. So we are going to simplify this problem. We are still not solving yet. We can't solve for y until we get an equal sign, but we can clean this up and make it smaller. So I'm going to rewrite the 3y minus 7 because I don't really need the parentheses. Then I'm going to very carefully pay attention to the takeaway symbol. Takeaway means I gotta subtract the 8 and I gotta subtract the y. Then I'm gonna put things together that are like terms. The 3y and the minus y are like terms. The negative 7 and the minus 8 are like terms. And we're gonna combine those like terms. 3y, take away a y is 2y. And negative 7, take away 8, um, is keep change change, KCC. So It'd be negative 7 plus negative 8, which is same signs, add and keep. So it'd be negative 15. So our simplified solution is 2y minus 15. All right, let's try another one, you guys. How about this? Parentheses 4 minus 5x. Take away parentheses x minus 2. Let's go through how we would simplify this problem. Well, I'm going to write 4 minus 5x because I don't need the first parentheses. And then I'm going to pay attention to the takeaway symbol. So I'm going to have to take away the x, but then here's where it gets tricky. Two negative signs. I'm going to take away the negative 2 minus the negative 2. And those two negative signs, remember what two negative signs do? They turn into a positive. So this is really like a plus 2. So I'm going to copy all the other stuff down. 4 minus 5x minus x, and then it's going to be plus 2. Now put your like terms together. So the negative 5x minus x should stay together. The 4 and the plus 2 should stay together. And we'll combine them. Negative 5x take away an x is negative 6x's. And 4 plus 2 we also know is 6. So here's our solution. Negative 6x plus 6. That's our simplified expression. All right, guys, let's try another one. How about this? Let's make it bigger and go a little more challenging. Parentheses. 2x minus 3y plus 5, take away parentheses 2y minus x plus 9. Go ahead and write that down in your notes, you guys. Okay, this isn't actually much harder. It's just bigger. That's all it is. So first parentheses, I'm just going to write it back down. I don't need the parentheses. 2x minus 3y plus 5. I'm going to pay attention that it's a takeaway problem. So I'm going to have to take away the 2y. But then here's that situation. I have a minus minus x, so minus minus x. We know minus minus is going to turn into a plus. And then I have a takeaway 9. So I'm going to fix that minus minus real quick and make that a plus x. But everything else is good, so I'm going to copy everything else down. 2x minus 3y plus 5 minus 2y minus 9. I'm going to put that whole thing down. Now put all your like terms together. So we got x's, we got y's, and we got numbers. So I'm going to put the 2x and the plus x together. I'm going to put the minus 3y and the minus 2y together. I'm going to put the plus 5 and the minus 9 together. And then I'm going to combine like terms. 2x plus x is 3x's. Negative 3y take away 2y is a KCC. So it's going to be negative 3 plus negative 2. Same signs add and keep. So it's negative 5y. And same with 5 minus 9, another KCC problem. It's like 5 plus negative 9. Uh, different signs, we're going to subtract to make that negative 4. So our answer is 3x minus the 5y minus the 4. And that is our simplified expression. So just more steps. Look how beautiful the work is when you stop right here on the screen. Each step is clearly written out. Some stranger could grab my paper, look at my work, and they would totally know what I was doing and believe me that I understood this, this uh, expression and how to simplify it. My work is very organized. I really hope in your notes your work is looking the same as mine. You're going step by step by step and making it nice and neat. All right, guys, that wraps up this video, and of course I will see you in the next video.
Thanks.